Hello everybody, my name is Aaron aka Pulling Teeth and welcome back to the WE 2K24 Universe Mode and it's time for WCW. He ain't going to introduce it, but it's Juventud Guerrero. Ladies and gentlemen, WCW Nitro's first show here for Universe Mode. I told you that WWE and WCW were entering Universe. We had a full month of ECW on its own. We've now got more. And WCW are coming with both barrels tonight. Today, WCW is coming with both barrels tonight. Two title matches for the opening Nitro. The first is our kickoff match tonight. It is a fatal five way for the WCW Cruiserweight Championship. We have got Rey Mysterio defending so far against Juventud Guerrera, Jushin Funda Liger, and we have a few more. But our main event this evening, the WCW World Championship is going to be on the line. When Booker T defends against Goldberg. But we've got a lot to go before we get there. We've got ourselves a hell of an opening tonight. Fatal five way. First pinfall submission gets the WCW Cruiserweight Championship. Can Ray Ray hold on? He's got some stiff competition. He's got Hoovy. He's got Jushin Lider. He's got Billy Kidman. Billy Kidman. Another one entering tonight for the WCW Cruiserweight Championship. Let's see who's going to walk away victorious tonight in this one. Who's going to get WCW off to a, well, a hot start? Someone's really happy in the crowd about this. Well, you've got Billy. You've got Billy Kidman. You've got Hoovy. You've got Jushin. And we also have this man. Wait, no, this is the champion. Who got top billing above the champ? Who got top billing over the cruiserweight champ? Who got top billing over Ray Ray? Who managed to pull that one out? Bit disrespectful to the champion. We're going to find out who's showing the ultimate disrespect to Ray Ray by forcing Ray Ray not even to have top Billy when he's the when he's the top dog in this division when he's the champ. So who is it? Who's the final man in this match? Who's forced Ray Ray to come out here when he's not he, when he's the champ defending, not even getting top Billy, not getting last. Oh, of course it is. The man who has made a few appearances in EC Dub. Eddie has made some appearances in the EC Dub. Ray Ray's in the EC Dub divisions too, but this is their home. Their home is WCW. And it makes sense that Eddie Guerrero. Forced Rey Mysterio out here before him. Eddie wanted top billing. And Eddie's got top billing. Is that going to play a factor in this match tonight? Is that going to upset Ray Ray more to make Ray Ray target Eddie above everybody else? There would definitely be an argument to be made for it. I'd understand it. I'd get it. But you've got four contenders in there. 
It's a fatal five way. You're in there with four of the guys. You can't just focus on just the one. We saw what happened on Raw when someone focuses on just one. Triple H. Well, he was focused on Mankind. Completely missed Austin. Stunner Jericho and earned himself a number one contendership. Is it going to be a similar story here for the Cruiserweight title? We're about to find out. Referee holding the gold in the air. Five men all vying for the Cruiserweight title and here we go. It's like Hoovy and Eddie squaring off. Jushin and Ray squaring off. Billy trying to get in there. Hope the referee's down already. <laughs> There's a lot of bodies in that ring. It's going to be difficult to find your own space there. The ref found that out the hard way. Kidman rolls off the ropes. He's got a head scissors on Ray. Takes him down. Hoobie says Eddie off the ropes. Wheelbarrow into a German suplex. Kidman's already got a weapon. He's already got a kendo stick. Also, it's been fatal fire play. First pinfall submission. There's no DQs, no count outs. Now Ray Ray and Eddie squaring off. Standing moonsaults from Ray back to back. Jushin. Scooby to slam the Kidman. Eddie already on the outside. Hoovy getting taken down by a brutal forearm. Ray Ray shot to the ribs. Hooking the arm. Nice a rocket dropper there. Everybody's out of the ring but Billy and Ray. Oh my god, Brainbuster on the floor from Hoovy. Brutal running drop kick in the ring. Of course, the pinfall submission has to occur on the inside of the ring. It can't occur outside. Like a bulldog on the floor there. Jushi with a running lariat. Eddie sends Liger back into the ring. Well, Kidman is working over the champ. Nice headlock takeover on Kidman. Oh my god, Eddie just got rammed headfirst into the barricade. Ray Ray, springboard drop kick. Gets drop kicked himself. Big knee to the face of Guerrero from Guerrero. That's going to get confusing. Nice kick to the knee. It's like Ray Ray's got himself that kendo stick back. Clocks Jushin in the face with it. Ray Ray going for a pin on Jushin. Barely a one count. Kidman pops back to his feet. Kick to the ribs. Face crusher. And there's Ray Ray getting dropped on the top buckle. Nice drop kick there from Kidman. Atomic drop. Hoovy. Northern Lights. Kidman again go for another drop kick to the side of the head. Oh god, there's a pinfall from Kidman to Ray, but <laughs> Jushin just got dropped with a tombstone. Tombstone power drive. Pile power driver? Pile driver from Liger to Kidman. This match is fast and furious. WCW putting their best foot forward to kick things off. Ray tried to escape out of the way of that. Oh my god, Eddie just low blowed Uvi. Goes Guerrero. Got to take every shortcut he possibly can. Northern Light suplex into a pin. Well, more like an exploder suplex, sorry, into a pin. Which is hard to do, because it's hard to keep hold of someone with that. Oh, Eddie roll up. Because Ray can lose his title without being involved in the decision. Backdrop driver dropping him on his head. Guerrero has been very much in charge of this match for the most part. DDT there from Ray. And we're left with Eddie and Ray. Nobody else in the ring at the minute. Guerrero trying to take full advantage of this. Kidman's got a chair. Hoovy's calling for Liger. Oh my god. Oh, Kidman clocking Hoovy in the head. What the hell's going on here? Oh my, back of the head there. Guerrero choking Rey Mysterio on the ropes. Poison runner to Kidman. Hoovy's on a roll right now. 
Ray pop up dropped Eddie's going up top he might be thinking frog splash Eddie might have this I think he did I think he just hit a frog splash but Jushin's right there to break it Liger kicking both Guerrero and Rey Mysterio down This is getting insane at the minute. This is so fast paced. No moment to breathe. It's Guerrero thinking. Guerrero, nice overhead there. Taking him down with the head scissors. And Guerrero might be thinking powerbomb. No, he's thinking glory special. Thinking the submission variant. Guerrero breaks that. Also club at the referee in the back of the head. Donkey punch style. Just a wonk out there from Kidman. Kidman though freaking out. Brain buster from Guerrero. Covers. One. Just a wonk out. And uh, look at this. Double team from Liger and Kidman. Double DDT dropping Guerrero on the top of his head. Liger. Caught in the corner from Kidman. Don't know what Billy's thinking here, but he's got Liger up top. Whatever it is, I don't think it worked. Or maybe it has. What the hell is Kidman and Liger thinking here? Got elbows, DDT. Oh my god. Oh my god. Kidman! Kidman! <laughs> oh god, Kidman just did a poison runner off the top rope <laughs> Liger is out of here at the minute trying to get back to his feet Ray Ray got hold there of Kidman turns him into the corner sits him up top Ray's up there with him thinking Rana no he's not thinking Rana he's thinking wheelbarrow bulldog Axel takes Liger down Hoovy breaking up the pin there. Who's going to be able to walk away victorious in this one? Who's going to get that opportunity? It's going to be so difficult to find the time to get a free count. And Guerrero reverse suplex to Liger. Takes out the leg there of Hoovy. Guerrero trying to build momentum. Going after everybody. New thing in Brain Buster. Kidman slips out the back. Shot to the spine. Thrown over the top rope. Guerrero goes flying. Kidman jumps out after him. Takes down Liger in the process. Ray Ray flips over the back. Heel kick there to Hoovy. Hoovy's down. Ray Ray going with that kendo stick. What the hell is Liger doing? Liger scoop slam. Thrown to the corner. Ray Ray drop kicks Hoovy. Guerrero goes flying into the barricade. Liger's fired up on the outside. I think someone just got caught. Scooping a slam from Ray. Cover, but Kidman's right there. Oh, flip, miss, kick down. Kidman, Kidman might be thinking shooting star. And perfectly connected. Kidman might have this. Nobody in sight. That he does! Billy Kidman walks away, the cruiserweight champion. Hoovy didn't recover in time. Guerrero didn't make it into the ring in time. Billy Kidman realizing a dream. Walks away, cruiserweight champion in our opening contest for WCW this universe. Congrats to Kidman on that one. Well, it's time for singles action now between two people in the world title scene. Trying to advise themselves up the rankings. DDP making his way down to the ring and tonight he finds himself in there against a foe he is all too familiar with 
against a member of a team that he has fought many, many times. He has been one of the standing faces against them. One of the only constants against them from day one. He's the original people's champion. Diamond Dallas Page. Let's get his opponent out here. In their own time, obviously. Oh, it goes black and white. That can only mean one thing. And here they are. And his opponent representing the NWO from Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 328 pounds, Kevin Nash. Kevin Nash is representing the NWO tonight. Kevin Nash is heading down to the ring accompanied by the two other originating members of the NWO. Scott Hall, who we have seen many a time over on ECW, and famous racist Hulk Hogan. Hogan just in the background there, guitaring. Thankfully, not in a match tonight. Probably just going to end up staying ringside the majority of the time. Don't feel like booking him, but we'll find out as time goes on. Hall made quite a name for himself over on ECW so far this season. But tonight, it ain't Hall in a match. It ain't Hogan in a match. It's Big Daddy Cool. It's Kevin Nash. Nash taking on DDP. DDP has fought many, many times against the NWL. He knows what he's doing against him. He knows that he stands against the numbers game here. Let's see if DDP can manage the impossible tonight. Can he beat Nash accompanied by the rest of the NWL? He ain't going to back down. He ain't going to run away. However much it might be wise for him to do so. And here we go. Nash gets hold of DDP to start things off already and rams him into the corner. Heavy handed blows from Nash. And ramming DDP face first into that buckle. It's going to be hard to follow the Cruiserweights opening match tonight. Going to be very difficult. That match was intense. High paced. And absolutely brutal. Can these two live up to that hype? Probably not. But we'll find out. DDP slipping behind reverse DDT from DDP. Trying to keep Nash down. Nash is going to keep fighting though. As much as Nash will bend the rules to say that he's sat there with the NWL. You can't turn around and say that Nash isn't accomplished in the ring. He knows what he's doing. And when he has the energy to put the effort in, Nash is pretty damn good in there. What the hell is Hogan doing? Hogan already taking the buckle padding off. That top corner, Nash just stretching out all the limbs on DDP. He stretched out both legs, he's now stretching out the arms. Now stretching the neck. Nash just testing every part of DDP, testing every part of Dallas, seeing what the weaknesses are. Smart move. Oh, flip out though from DDP. DDP just springboarded. That was I was not ready for. Face crusher there from DDP. Has DDP already got this one in the bag? Diamond cutter already taking Nash down. The NWO don't know what to make of this. Oh, but Nash kicking out of the diamond cutter. DDP pulled that out of absolutely nowhere. Shouldn't be surprised. DDP is incredibly accomplished in there. Knows what he's doing. Boom, big knee. 
Dallas now. Another big kick. Shouts out to Booker T, who we're going to see later tonight. Sends him off the ropes. Nash ducks down in a big boot. Slowing down that momentum as quickly as possible. Not even a one count. And Dallas kicks out. Hall and Hogan, they don't know what to make of this. They can't believe that DDP's come out swinging so quickly in this one. Nash building up ahead of steam. But DDP pops straight back up, but right back down again with that big boot. And Nash might be thinking jackknife. Might be thinking jackknife. Running jackknife. And my God, he got some momentum on that one. And DDP kicks out. Last possible second, but Dallas gets that shoulder up. Nash now has got to hold DDP by the scruff of his neck. Puts him against the ropes. Arms trapped. Trying to rip the shoulder out of the socket. Nash now. Got DDP up. DDP though slicks behind. Goes to the quad. The known weakness in Nash. Into the corner. Dallas. Off the ropes. Another springboard kick from Dallas. DDP has clearly uh, been working on that yoga. Sends him into the corner. Well, DDP thinking now. Scoop and a slam. Middle rope for Dallas. He's calling him up. He's calling him up. Big knee again. And Dallas again, another springboard. Where is all this coming from, from DDP? And not even a one count. And Nash powered out of that one. Nash is up and Nash looks pissed. Off the ropes. Big back body drop and that's a long way to go. Up by the ears and back down. Nash pointing at the crowd. Oh DDP you fell into the exact wrong place there. My god Nash just clobbered the ref. Running big splash. Nash clobbered the ref and it gave Hogan and Hall the opportunity to get a few quick shots in on DDP when they threw him into the ring. Nash now. He's got a hold of Dallas. Sidewalk slam. Referee still down. Game back up. Nash though. Nash has got him. He's thinking jackknife. He took the NWO, bending the rules a little, but Nash might have just secured himself a victory in this one. There's the three. Should be surprised. I'm sure they shouldn't be surprised. And once again, that piece of crap Hogan getting himself in the center, taking all the attention. Despite the fact it was Nash that did this one. I suppose congrats to Nash on the victory. Well it's time for a freeway dance ladies and gentlemen. Three men in the main event scene. Three men who. Vying for a top position here in the company. Ladies and gentlemen. Let's get our contenders down here. The Three-way dance. This is WCW. The From West Memphis, Arkansas, weighing in at 317 pounds, Psycho Sid. Psycho Sid. Sid is here. Sid making his way down to the ring for the three-way dance tonight. He's got two. Incredibly talented competitors standing between him and victory. The win tonight is going to do wonders for Sid. It could put him in contention for the World's Championship. Of course, the winner of Booker T and Goldberg in the main event will walk out of here tonight as World Champion. So who is going to be sniffing down their necks next? As Goldberg would say, who's next? 
They were about to find out. Sid stepping over the ropes. Found himself in the center of the ring, awaiting his opponents tonight. Breaking kayfabe for a second, Rip Sid. Recently passed away at the time of recording. Might have had something to do with my want of putting him in this match. But anyway, back in kayfabe, and here comes the warrior. Warrior in this one. This is going to be a struggle for Warrior. We know stamina and long matches are not his game. He's going to want to try and put this away quickly. But when you've got two opponents, not just the one, and two high-class opponents, that ain't going to be an easy feat. Warrior might be the weak link in this match. Let's say stamina is not going to be a strong suit. He's not going to be able to go for very long at a high level. And his opponents, Sid, and this next man, are going to want to take full advantage of that. And now the final man to enter this match. And the man, the myth, the legend. Sting is here. Sid, Warrior and Sting. Obviously Sting and Warrior have got some history. They broke into the business together. We're actually a tag team once upon a time. Though the careers went very different places. Meaning Warriors went to WWE and Sting's went to WCW. But also very different ways of being as performers, very different in their approach, very different in how they've turned out. Sting has gone down this Dark Avenger style path. Sting is obviously, he's the vigilante. He's the man who stands up against the injustices here in WCW. Warrior, some might say, was an injustice in WCW. And Sid's just a law unto himself. So this is going to be interesting. Referee, ring that bell. And here we go. Sting already got Warrior up on his shoulders and snake eyes him straight down. Sid going big heavy strikes. Rocking Sting. Got him into the got him onto the ropes. And Sid now taking liberties with Warrior. Two big boots. And then a big line, and another big line, but Warrior comes firing out. I'd say Warrior is probably, I'd say, the underdog in this. Early on, Warrior will probably go full pelt. But he will wear himself out quickly. He's not going to be able to maintain that. Although he's doing a decent job there, picking up Sid, who's the biggest man in this match by a considerable margin. Another big line there. Falls him down with it. So he's got hold of the leg. Just tosses Sting. Sid showing that power. Now escaping to the outside. Calling Warrior back up to his feet. And Sid. More boost to the ribs. And a big line. Sting's got himself a sledgehammer. Not the weapon you'd expect from Sting, but he's... Oh, my God. That shot just clocked Warrior in the face with it. Warrior is somehow back up. Don't know how. Sting sent back into the ring. Oh, baseball slide hit both men. Sting. Crossbody on the Warrior. Sting taking a risk. Not something you see too often, but when he does, he makes it work. Throws Warrior back into the ring. Right into the waiting arms of Sid. 
He's got Warrior up on his shoulders now. Sting's just going to let this happen. Dropped on the jumping line from Sting. Sting, the mounted punches now. Dropping him on Sid. Raining down the bombs. Jumping knee there from Warrior. Rocks Sting. Oh, big boot attempt didn't work. Warrior, spine buster. Scoops it straight into a pin. Unfortunately, Sting still right there. Leg caught. Back heel trip. Warrior showing a bit of speed there, but it must be than you'd expect. He is explosive, is the Warrior. You've got to give him that. Case of point. Oh, Sid choke slam. One of many from Sid. Sting now. Picking up the Warrior. What's he thinking? Knee to the ribs. And an axe handle to the back. He's just not to both men. Running Bulldog. Low drop kick. Warriors on the outside. Sting quickly going for the pin while Warriors on the outside. But Sid is nowhere near hurting off yet. We've gone Warrior with a sledgehammer is a dangerous thing. <laughs> All right to the spine of Sting. Now to the ribs. Well, more to the hip. Both men went for jumping attacks and they just missed each other in the air. Said they'll know each other quite well. They were a tag team once upon a time. Despite the fact they've both evolved considerably since then. Oh, Warrior saw that powerbomb from Sid coming. Got out of it in the last second. And Snake Eyes. Sting recovering on the outside. He's back in. In time to break up that pin. I think Warrior kicked out too. Sid, nice, drops him down. Sting now straight back up. Warrior's got Sid in the air. Vertical suplex. Right into the arms of Sting. Who's working on the legs, trying to knock that thigh, that quad. Warrior missed the clothesline. Sting, atomic drop. Sting now. Sending Warrior out to the outside, right into Sid's path. No, oh, but Warrior, wait for it. Belly to belly on the floor. Oh, punch the face, Warrior. Thinking atomic drop of his own. Oh my God, and onto the apron. That had to hurt. Sting's got a chair. Got a Warrior dropped onto the barricade. Not on the barricade, the apron. Chair shot to Sid. Chair shot to Warrior. Sting's just swinging for the fences here. So he had to put a stop to that while he could. He's got Sting in the air. Sting flying out of it. Warrior's just throwing heavy hands. Sid trying to hold himself up on the barricade. Sting following it up. And atomic drop. Might be thinking another one. A second atomic drop to the Warrior. Came right in Warrior's face. Turns his attention back to back to Sid. Bulldog to Sid on the floor. What's Warrior looking for? Warrior's got a kendo stick. Sid thrown back into the ring. The match obviously has to end in the ring. Has to end between those ropes. And big line, big boot. <laughs> Nearly broke the kendo stick. You know, I've kicked it out of the Warriors' hands. Sid going back and forth between the two. Back body drop. Warrior charges in with a line. What the hell, the Warrior thinking? Warrior thinking? Warrior splash. Connects it to Sid. He's got him pinned down. Is the Warrior going to walk away victorious? He does. Warrior picked his spot perfectly for that one. You gotta give him credit where credit is due. The ultimate I was not expecting Warrior to walk away victorious in that one, but he pulled that out of absolutely nowhere. Credit to him. He picked his time perfectly to hit the Warrior splash and pin said. Warrior with a huge victory tonight. 
Well, we have ourselves a one-on-one -on -one contest tonight just before the main event. We have the Mastodon, Vader, taking on the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be, Brett the Hitman Hart. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from the Rocky Mountains, weighing in at 450 pounds, the man they call. Vader making his way down to the ring for this one-on-one -on -one match with Bret Hart tonight. Vader wanting to make a statement here in Universe. Wanting to really show the world what he is made of. Wanting to prove he is still a top dog. Wanting to prove he can still be the top dog here in WCW. And a hell of a way to do that is beating arguably the best of all time in Bret Hart. I say arguably because there are a number of people you can put in that conversation. But when talking about greatest ever, certainly greatest ever in ring performers, you've got to bring up Bret at some point. So Vader knows that a victory tonight against Brett will be absolutely incredible. It'll go a long way into helping Vader reestablish himself. And his opponent, representing the Hart Foundation from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing in at 235 pounds, Brett the Hit. the hell Vader Vader's gone out there to meet Brett before Brett's even got to the ring Vader's gone out there and met the hitman Brett's tried to cut him off at the pass but Vader a little too much for him right now loving blows down to Hart Hart with an up kick this match has got off to a hot and heavy start there's Brett kicking the lower spine. Brett's not even got his jacket or his glasses off. Brett didn't even get to the ring. Brett made it to just before the ring and Vader had already jumped him. And got out of there to meet Brett head on. Vader. Reverse suplex to heart. Dropping him face first. I can't get rid of the star thing at the top of the screen, by the way, until the match officially starts, just so people know. But anyway, Brett looks in trouble here. Vader now throwing Brett into the ring. We're going to meet him in there. Vader does. Brett again tries to charge in. Doesn't work. The referee officially rings the bell to start this thing. Brett's down. Vader showing off to the crowd. The crowd did not look impressed with Vader. Hart's finally got his jacket and his glasses off. Who the hell is this referee? This does not look like a WCW referee. The way, one count there. Vader got the arms of Hart trapped. In down on the spine. Brett tried to fight valiantly when Vader came swinging at him. But he's not been able to get anything going. Vader holding down the arm, stomping on the fingers of Brett now. This is just brutal from the Mastodon. Oh my god! Sitting right on his chest. Brett crumbles to the floor. Vader has gone up top. Vader with an elbow. I don't think he got all of it. I think Brett rolled mostly out of the way. It wasn't enough to slow Vader down much though. Hart just thrown straight into that barricade. Vader clubbing blow to the spine. And jumping on the arm. 
Vader's done some work on Brett's arm in this one. Brett's barely been able to get going here. He's just being beaten. Hart trying to get a surge of momentum, threw himself up. But Vader just caught him. Pressed him down. And Brett nearly went face first on the barricade. Big jumping splash there from Vader. We're quite high on the count. We're at an eight count now. Vader threw Hart back in the ring, followed it up himself. Don't know what Vader was going for there, but Hart saw it coming. Throws Vader off the ropes, goes for a kitchen sink. Doesn't take Vader down, goes for a crossbody, still doesn't take Vader down. Vader's a brutal strike, but Brett's going to stand and swing with him. Both men are going to stand and swing at each other, but Brett gets caught. Vader, another heavy hand. They're trying, they're throwing the bombs. These big heavy strikes at each other. Neither man gaining an advantage. Brett valiantly standing and swinging with a Mastodon, but it wasn't enough. Vader with that big clubbing blow to the back of the head, shuts Hart down. Dragging him from one side of the ring to the other, rams him into the buckle. Scoop, slam down. We might be thinking Vader bomb. He might be thinking Vader bomb. There it is, crushing Hart's ribs. One, two, no, Hart is still in it. Brett is still in this one. Vader doesn't seem all that worried. It's just crushing Brett. Brett's barely been able to get going in this one. He's not really had much in the way of offense. He's tried. He's tried launching himself at Vader a few times, but he just kind of bounces off him. Brett, another heavy strike there. Oh, back heel trip. Hart's going for broke. Hart's going for broke. He's going for the sharpshooter. I'm not sure if he got it all in. I'm not sure if he got enough of it. He definitely didn't get enough of it. He had to release the hold there, but he is working on the spine of Vader. Go for a pin now. One, two. Oh my God. That came out of absolutely nowhere. Brett locked the sharpshooter on. Vader managed to get out, or Brett had to let go. I don't believe that did that much damage that Vader wasn't able to kick out of it. Brett with a surprising upset victory over Vader here tonight. Well, it's main event time, folks, for WCW's first official show here in Universe. And world title is on the line. Let's get the challenger out here. Security knocking on his door. And here comes the big man. Here comes Big Bill. Goldberg making his way to the ring. Goldberg is the challenger tonight. He's stepping in there with Booker T, the world's champion. Big Bill knows what it's like to be world champion though. He knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing in there. And you know damn well he's going to come out swinging in this one. Walking through the pyro. And the crowd fired up for Goldberg. The man who had one of the longest undefeated streaks. That uh, one guy in the crowd is really hyped for him. But can he dethrone Booker T tonight? Can he dethrone the book man? There's only one way to find out. Goldberg's ready. Here's Booker T. Well, Booker is here. And he ain't gonna back down. <laughs> oh, 
Booker's world champion for a reason. With the big goal around his waist. Booker T marching down to the ring with purpose here tonight. He knows he's walking in there against a man who might arguably be the favourite against him. Despite Booker being the world champion. He knows that Goldberg on paper is probably the favourite. That ain't going to stop him though. They ain't going to stop Booker T. Booker ain't want to back down from a fight. Never has been. Never will be. And the graphic on screen. The following contest is scheduled for the challenger from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 275 pounds, Bill Goldberg. And his opponent from Houston, Texas, weighing in at 251 pounds, the world heavyweight champion, Booker T. Booker is ready. Goldberg is ready. WCW pulling out all the stops for its first show. We started the episode with a Cruiserweight Championship match. We are ending the episode with a World's Championship match. Referee holds the belt high. It's time to ring that bell. Let's find out who's leading this new era of WCW. Is it Booker T? Is it Goldberg? Let's go. Both men meet in center of the ring. Goldberg grabs hold of Booker T, tries to overpower him straight away, but Booker throws the elbows. Winding Goldberg early on. If you can gas Goldberg, that's going to do you a world of good. Goldberg not known for long matches. It's similar in sense to what we had with the Ultimate Warrior. They're incredibly dangerous in short bursts. But if Booker T can weather the storm, if Booker T can keep Goldberg off balance and just outpace him, then it ain't going to take long before Goldberg is completely and utterly gassed. And then it's just, Go it's just Booker's for the taking at that point. That's how most people who have beaten Goldberg have done it. They've had to outpace him. And that's what Booker T so far is doing. He's just outworking Goldberg. And Goldberg now trying to turn it around. But Booker leapfrogs over. Drop down. The forearm strike. Oh god, the up kick though from Goldberg. You'll see Goldberg's explosive offense started to come into play already. Throws Booker T overhead. And Goldberg taking a second to catch his breath. Just twisting on Booker T's neck. I say Goldberg knows what he's doing in there, but he knows what his strengths are and he knows what his weaknesses are. He knows he's going to have the power game in this one. He knows that he's going to have to do that quick explosive offense if he wants to beat Booker T. He can't let this thing go long. Booker T got a lot more in the tank than Goldberg. Booker T can go as long as you need him to. If you wanted Booker T to go an hour, you could probably go an hour. Running line there sends Booker to the floor. And then Goldberg fired up. Booker escaping. That jumping shoulder tackle. Keeping him down. Goldberg well, trying to stretch the arm out of Booker T now. Stands Booker back up. He's going to throw him into the steps, but no. Booker manages to sidestep the steps. Still crumbles into a heap on the floor, but he managed to avoid extra damage there. 
Booker straight back to his feet now. Goldberg just waiting on him. That would have been champion's advantage. Oh my God. He said Goldberg didn't want this thing to go long. He's not even going with the spear. He's just jackhammer. Just straight jackhammer. One. Two. No. Booker T kicks out. You probably needed the combo, Bill. You probably needed the combo. Goldberg's got hold of the ankles. Slamming Booker T's leg down. Smart move. Work on the legs of Booker. It's a lot of Booker T's offense comes from his legs. This is unusual for Goldberg. Very unusual for Goldberg. He's up top. Diving. Went for a close like Booker caught him into a power slam. Working on the spine. Dropping the forearm across the nose. Actually, that was across the head. You can see the cut. It's just above the eye. More stomps from Booker T. Goes for a knee drop now. Goldberg having to take a second to catch his breath, but Booker heading straight back out there to meet him. Goldberg, though, was ready for it. Rams Booker into the apron. Standing back up. Looks like he's going to throw him back in again. Goldberg now back in the ring. Clubby blows to the collarbone, it looked like a Booker T there. Big knee. Say Goldberg knows he's going to need to finish this as quickly as he can. He can't afford to get into this sort of striking match with Booker T. Booker is scrappy. Look, it looks like both men throwing heavy blows. Another big hope and strike. Goldberg just shaking him off though. Look at this. Just bounces back into it. Booker the blocks. Another heavy strike was out. Goldberg shaking it out. Booker doing the same. Both men landing. And that spin kick from Goldberg there to Booker. Goldberg gets the better of the strike exchange. Launches Booker across the ring. He might have been, I thought he might have been thinking Spear. Oh, big clothesline. Goldberg went down but bounced back up. Caught the leg. Goldberg now has got him up in the air. Upon his shoulders, dropped over the top rope. Goldberg going for a pin, you might think he's got Booker T out. Two. No, Booker T still in this one. Booker kicking out with everything he's got left. Goldberg just deadlifted him off the mat though. Power slam. Goldberg getting the mount on. Hanging down those hammer fists. Elbow strikes now too. And then heavy blow after heavy blow. And was he thinking, no, whatever he was thinking, that wasn't enough. Booker T, bookend. Out of absolutely no way, drop Goldberg with the bookend. Ref's right there. Just a one count. That's got to be disheartening for Booker T. One of his biggest shots. And Goldberg kicks out at one. Booker, shots to the ribs. Is he thinking suplex? No, he's turning it round. Slams him down. Goldberg skates to the floor. Booker already out there to meet him. Charges in. Goes for a clothesline. Goldberg doesn't even go down. Booker with the power. Oh, but Goldberg straight back to his feet. Thrown to the barricade. Booker realizing it's difficult to weather that storm from Goldberg. Goldberg is starting to slow, but is it too little too late? Booker now feeling fired up. Goldberg back heel trip. Booker's down. Goldberg now dragging Booker back towards the ring. He knows champion's advantage. He can't win it on the outside. And he's up. Booker went for something, wasn't able to get it. Goldberg just launching Booker from one side of the ring to the other. Goes for the pin. Is this enough? One. Two. No, Booker's still in this one. Barely, but he is. It's Goldberg got left, though. So what's he got left to throw at Booker? He's seemingly just throwing everything at him. One after the other, after the other, after the other. Until something keeps him down. 
he's thinking another jackhammer this might be it this might be all she wrote if this connects we might be thinking new world's champion Booker slips out the back Booker slips out the back atomic drop Goldberg might be in trouble Spinebuster no Goldberg he's got Booker again slams him into the buckle Booker into the buckle Booker's up though Booker's up kick to the ribs scissor kick to Goldberg oh absolutely nowhere could this be it no Goldberg kicks out again he's kicked out both of Booker's big moves but Booker hits the spinner and he don't care he knows he's got closer he got a one count with the bookend a two count with a scissor kick one more big hit and mathematically you know where it goes Goldberg shoulder tackles Booker in the corner he's got him by the legs now tossed up into the air and back down got that landing Booker on the back of his head being nothing it is just threw Booker up into the air Booker landed on the back of his head and he might have been out cold Thank you everybody for joining us for this one. It has been a genuine pleasure as per usual. Like, comment, subscribe. You know the drill, all the fun stuff. And we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.